Hi, Dave with Align Therapy here. I am here with Emerson. Emerson's one of our amazing scoliosis pros. Uh, she, maybe wave at the camera, Emerson. There you go. Um, so Emerson, I wanted to use Emerson as a model because she had surgery um, where she had scoliosis fusion correction. So I wanted to show a couple of things with scoliosis correction, fusion, the, the corrective surgery, but also talking about some exercises that you can do after surgery Make sure you're healed and that you're cleared to do these things. But some exercises that you can do to improve the outcome of the surgery and reduce any pain that might happen in the future. So with Emerson, I wanted to show a couple of things though. Emerson's curve, uh, she had a, a right thoracic curve and a left lumbar curve. And if you look, you can still see the remnants of that curve. So we can see that her shoulder blade sticks out a little bit more on the right side because those ribs on the right side are rotated back still. The scoliosis correction surgery doesn't correct for that completely, but that is less than it was before. And then we still see a, a prominence here on the, on the lumbar spine where that side is, is rotated back a little bit still too. Uh, she's only fused down to L2, so we still have the other lumbar vertebrae that are still semi-rotated and semi-curved. So we they don't want to fuse all the way to the pelvis. That usually doesn't end in a great outcome. So if we look here, her pelvis is still shifted just a little bit to the right because of that lumbar curve. So all those things we have to keep in mind as we're doing exercises because this shoulder sits a little bit more forward still, this shoulder sits a little more back, and so we still have some some uh, things that are, that are asymmetrical. But uh, her spine is straighter, it's more stable, it's not going anywhere. So after scoliosis correction surgery, there are some things that we want to strengthen. Uh, we don't do a lot of Schroth exercises right off the bat after scoliosis correction surgery. We're not going to, to correct for the spine because the spine is fused. We do use Schroth exercises and other exercises specific to scoliosis later on but it's not as soon after surgery. So one of my favorites, and we're just gonna go ahead and hop up on this table here. One of my favorites initially is just to do a plank. So Emerson, I want you to, to show us a plank. Okay. Just up on the table here, yep. Perfect. So the, the plank engages a lot of core muscles. We get the abdominals engaged, the, the low back muscles, even the hips and the shoulders. Push up here just a little bit. Yeah, there we go. Because her shoulder blades like to, well, her back goes in between her shoulder blades a little bit. Bring that up a little more. There. So we're working on stability. We want to increase the stability of the spine. While she's doing this, I'm curious how long she can do this here. But if we look up here, we have a plank wall of fame. And Emerson is the seventh from the top on our plank wall of fame. She did this for six minutes and three seconds. So I don't think we'll go with this video for six minutes and three seconds <laughs> to, to see if she can beat that. Go ahead and go back down. So a plank, feel those muscles all working, right? Yeah. Yes, all working. So a plank is a great exercise after scoliosis surgery. Uh, make sure that you're cleared by your surgeon before you do this. Make sure that it's not painful. We don't want to create any issues with strengthening. We're not sacrificing the surgery for the strengthening. So, so make sure you're doing that carefully. Uh, number two, go ahead and lay on your side here, Emerson. I want you to show a side plank. So side planks are great as well. They work those muscles on the side of the core and that looks perfect. <laughs> so a really good positioning of the, the, the body in a good line, her hands on her hip, her body's in a good line like this and she could hold this probably 10 minutes. <laughs> so, so go ahead and switch to the other side, Emerson. I wanna show something with your shoulder blade on this one. So if we come in a little bit closer here, she, good form, nice, nice positioning, and she's actually doing a pretty good job with this shoulder blade, but right here, we notice her shoulder blade kinda of wants to come to the midline. That's because we're lacking some shoulder blade stability and we're gonna do an exercise specific to shoulder blade stability, but that's a tough one to change. Go ahead and come back down. It's a tough one to change because that's a lot of pressure on the, the shoulder blade and it's hard for that shoulder blade to stay stable when we do that. 
So planks and side planks, both, both great exercises after scoliosis surgery, but make sure that you're doing it when it's not painful and you're not doing it too early. So number, number three exercise, we're gonna stretch the hip flexors. A lot of times we want to keep the range of motion at the pelvis and uh, a challenge with that is that the spine doesn't move anymore where it's fused. And so uh, like Emerson, when you went to pick up a pencil off the floor after surgery, it was probably an interesting experience. Yeah. Yeah, it was. Because that part of the spine doesn't move and so that has to move as a unit. So because of that, we have to get more mobility out of the hips and out of the shoulders because we don't have as much mobility out of the spine. So two, ex two stretches for that specifically. Um, actually, we're gonna do three. Bring your left leg up on the table. So a hamstring stretch is good. Trying to keep your posture nice and tall. And go ahead and lean forward. Feel that stretch a little bit, okay? So we're feeling the hamstrings back here stretch. This is better than it was right after surgery. This is a bit tight. So we're doing, we're doing better with this. And her spine is straight. She has good posture because she has no choice. It's fused. But trying to keep your back nice and, and tall so that you're leaning forward at your hips to stretch the hamstrings. Hold 30 seconds, do a couple of those on each side. And I would do those a couple of times, uh, a, couple of times a day. Make sure that you're cleared for bending, lifting, and twisting though. After surgery, if you're not cleared for bending, this is not an exercise you wanna do. Go, go ahead and hop up. Uh, one other stretch. Go ahead and come down here, Emerson. We're gonna stretch the hip flexors. So come down into this position. There we go. And you're gonna, this leg, we don't really care as much about this leg, but this hip, we're gonna come forward, bring your pelvis forward until you, she's pretty flexible on those. <laughs> Um, but we're trying to stretch the hip flexors, keep your posture up tall. Good. So we're stretching those hip flexors there. The hip flexors tend to get tight as well with, uh, with this. So 30 seconds again, a couple on each side, but trying not to arch the back. You do have motion in your lumbar spine, so we don't want to arch the back to get that, that motion. So that is a great stretch. If you're not tight with that, don't worry about it. But if you're tight with that, it's a good one to stretch. Okay, come on over here. Let's do one other one. From here we're gonna break and do some you know, weird music or something. Okay. Okay, for shoulder stability, we noticed when Emerson did that side plank, we had a little bit of instability in the shoulder blade. So this is a good exercise just to start stabilizing the shoulder. So we're gonna do a row. You're gonna step back, you're gonna pull back, squeeze your shoulder blades together, and come back forward. So let's, let's see that. So if we look at her from the back, so we can see her shoulder blades. There you go. And pulling back, we don't wanna shrug up with the shoulders. We wanna bring those shoulder blades back and activating those muscles around the shoulder blades. Keep in mind that this shoulder blade likes to sit back more than the left side. So we're trying to just stabilize the shoulder blade here. Yes, there we go. And then back forward. These are called rows. We do about three sets of 10 with a little break in between each set. And make sure the resistance is enough that you're feeling. You feeling those work a little bit? Yeah. Yep. Okay, do three more, three more times. Good, squeezing those shoulder blades, getting those stable, perfect. If you keep your core tight, your abdominals tight at the same time, we can also get some core exercise with that. So there are a few exercises that you can do after scoliosis surgery. Uh, again, make sure that you're doing those safely and that they're not painful and that you're cleared to do them. But strengthening after scoliosis surgery is very important. And we do that a lot with our patients. And I find that a lot of surgeons don't refer for physical therapy after scoliosis correction surgery. Be proactive with that. Ask them about that. Uh, and if they're still like, you don't need it, but you feel like you need it, contact a physical therapist that knows scoliosis and they can help you with that. And hopefully this, uh, this video was helpful. Uh, subscribe, check out our website, get some more information of what you can do. And thanks for watching.